Hey strangers, here is Jess, and the first video was, okay, the first part of the video that I was going to talk about was uh, about um, being lost and people forcing you to choose what you want to do for the rest of your life, even if you don't like it. And this video is kind of another problem that it happens to me quite often and so should the problems kind of <sighs> so how can I explain this without sounding that I'm a drama queen that I am but I'm not gonna be a drama queen here or I can sometimes I will <laughs> okay, so, um, something that bothers me a lot is when people tell me that I should change something of myself to like boys, like people, like blah, 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 blah. And like I was saying in the other video was that the closest people to us tell us that and it's the same thing here um this sounds so bad but my family all the time is telling me to change my way of my way of wearing clothes that i shouldn't be wearing black because i look like a fly because i scare people because blah 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 I dyed my hair magenta color most of the time because I really like the magenta color and when I dye it I feel like I'm powerful and I can do whatever that I want to do. It does part is my of my attitude at some point. And also my family don't like this thing. And I have tattoos. Also, my family don't like that I have tattoos. But at some point, your family should be like, whatever. She's gonna screw her life with those kind of stuff, but it's her life. They kind of worry for that. But we can do a thing about it. But the thing that really bothers me is that when I'm on the street and I or go to buy something, sometimes, I can't say that most of the times, because I really try to ignore sometimes the places I am, because that little sometimes that I notice... Mm, when I get into a store, a um, clothes store, sometimes, sorry for saying sometimes, too much times, you can start counting. Um, the employees kind of follow me where I go, like they are next to me or some steps behind me looking what I am doing. And it makes me feel like, I don't know how to explain it, really. It makes me feel like I'm delinquent, like a thief, like... I am doing something bad and, and I don't know what I'm doing bad. And it's just because how I look. And I just told a friend this and he told me that it's not how people... That it's not in all the world. Because of reasons, but... When you live in this 
kind of country that you're walking by the street and people look bad at you just because how you look even if you have the biggest smile people still look bad at you I was living in another part I said it before in another country for a year and I miss when people by the street were like I really like your hair and I didn't know how to answer them but that made me my week and that was really nice but here even if I'm smiling and say good morning to someone sometimes they look at you like you what is this and it's like hmm. yay it's kind of hard sometimes because you're just trying to be nice you're just trying to make someone smile because I like to smile because you don't know when was the last time someone smiled at someone and I think that that can really make someone's day but I have to disagree with my friend here is the most common thing that people look bad at you just of how you look and something that bothers me really really much and then even gives me headaches every time I do that is I'm living with my grandma and sometimes I do the shopping for her and she has a kind of free card for for food in some stores from the government so I sometimes I go to the store that is in crossing the street or sometimes I go to another store that is way kind of far and always always when I have to pay, I have to show her two cards, the identification card and the card for the money. And also mine. I don't care to show my ID. I really don't. I understand why they asked the ID. But they only ask me. What do I mean with that? My father can go and buy things for her, of course. He has her last name. He has a way to prove that it's her son. Um, and if I go to buy some stuff, they start to ask me. And it's just familiar and I'm like yeah she's my grandma I don't have her last name because I have the my grandfather's last name not hers and they are like hmm sure and I'm like no please no again this and they start to ask questions and I'm like she's my grandmother my ID doesn't say it's the same direction because I wasn't living with her. And what do I have to do to prove that she's my grandma? Do you really think that I'm gonna buy coconut water? Do you really think that I'm gonna buy light milk? Without blah 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 blah, a lot of stuff. I mean... I understand when I grab something for myself, that is a couple of times, but this last time I just took the thing that she really wanted me to buy, nothing for me. And I went with my father's girlfriend 
and she was like, are you really asking you all that? And I was like, yeah, it's like this most of the time. And she was like, but why do you do that? And I was like, I don't know. Actually, I know. Because they think that I am a thief. Just because how I look. And the reason why it gets me headache every time I go shopping for my grandma is because they always explain the same thing. It's because people steal cars from the older older people and they buy things for you for themselves and I'm like First you're calling me a thief. Second, do you really think that if I stole that card I'm gonna show you my ID? And The, my father's girlfriend was mad because sometimes my grandma even asked her to go shopping with the same card, with the same ID, and they don't ask her a thing. It's like, she's the mother of my boyfriend, and they give it to her. Even my grandma sends to shop some things as the favor she asked the favor to the cleaning lady to go and buy some things for her and they don't say they don't ask her a lot of things. They just give it to her and I'm like Why? Why people discriminate me just because how I look? Why you put me in the you're a thief box? It really makes you think why people are rude. Because a nice person that is trying to do something good for someone else and then people just judge without knowing it really sucks and it's simply stupid I really hate that people discriminate us or judge us and why I'm saying we because the other day I was talking with a friend and I asked her and I told her do you remember or did I tell you about the thing that happened with the card and she was like yeah don't worry also because I have the piercing and the tattoos and the hair people also think that I'm a thief and Maybe when we go with people to shopping stores or to the coast stores, like I mentioned, maybe the people around us don't notice that there's an employee following us. But I do. And what can I say to that people that is with me? Can we please go out because they are following me because following me they think I, I am a thief? You can't. And also you can't just tell him. You can't just go and tell people to fuck themselves. Because it's rude. Sometimes I really wish... I would let my mouth open and say those kind of things. And now that I'm thinking the day that I went with my first girlfriend, she was there. She was 
supporting me and even and just because of that they let me buy it but there was no reason for them to do all that circus to let me buy it because I don't have tears in my eyes because why they can't call you thief and I really was thinking about telling my father's girlfriend to just leave the things and go because they hurt you they don't have the right to tell me thief and sometimes I tell my father to go with me because that thing happens and he's like you can go alone and I was like and I told him this time with the proof of the girlfriend as witness and he was like then ask me and I will go with you. And I was like, I asked you a lot of times and you said no. And you said that I was exaggerating <laughs> with saying that. Now you see that it's true. So, all this thing that I was talking about was because I am not going to change for someone. I'm not going to change how I want to look or the way I dress just because someone is saying it. My grandma and an aunt always tell me, you should dye your hair blonde and have rays on your hair. So you can attract boys and you should use more colors to dress instead of all black <sighs> I want people to like me the way I am not the way people want me to be and maybe people don't understand but A year ago, I found someone that I really like and that that person likes me for the way that I am. And he didn't care how I looked. Actually, he liked a lot my magenta hair. That's the most precious thing someone can tell you. Why? Because nothing in your family accepts you the way you want to be so that someone that is outside our family that don't really know us that well and that we just met and that person is telling us that they like us the way we are and I don't mean because we are different I mean because the personality that is also reflected on the way we look outside that's really one of the most wonderful things you can hear from someone else and I'm crying. 
And I really hope that my friend doesn't watch this because I never told him this. Because how will I sound if I tell him? Do you know that you became someone really important to me just because you like me the way I am? When not my even when not even my family does. Why I am this video sad? <laughs> I'm definitely not gonna cut this. Cause people will think that I'm making a drama or that I'm exaggerating with this but saying something nice to someone really can change a lot my family I hear a lot of times that they talk about gay people or transsexual people or My family doesn't talk good about that community. And I really support that community because maybe because I'm at other level, can I say it? Because I'm in another generation. But I don't like when they make fun of them. That's... Maybe that's why my family doesn't know that I'm bi. Oopsie. And being in their place. And when... People really start to attack them, and I try to defend them or to say something nice. My family just look at me weirdly, and it's like, I'm gonna shut up. And I change the topic. Why change the topic? Well, sometimes my family is like, you should dress. More la more girly. And other times they say you should find you should try to find clothes in the men's sections and I'm like Okay first if I like uh clothes I will go and try it. I don't care if it's of woman or if it's man I really don't but really don't try to change me because I like how I am I like how I look if I don't like I would try to change it but really don't try to change me because that's rejecting me and if you reject me, I really don't care. But what it bothers me is that you still insist on trying to change me. How... I should make... Um, I should write the videos that I... And what I want to talk and the points. But the reason why I don't do it is because I think that talking in front of the camera for the first thing about the thing or the topic I want to talk it's more real it's not like I'm saying it like a robot it's like how I feel about it and I and how I express it for the first time it's how it it's how the video should be 
And I talk too much. Really, too much. If someone else feels like me or thinks that when they enter a closed store, the employees follow them, please tell me. Because I don't know if that's true. I feel that a couple of times, but I just ignore it and try to go out of the store as soon as possible. And I never said this to someone. This is the first time. But if someone feels related to, there are people outside that understand that. And like my first video, you're not alone. There is someone else that feels the same. Uh, when my family tells me that I should change my look for blonde and blah blah blah, just for guys to like me, my head is saying, no thanks. I don't want to like somebody I am not. If someone is gonna like me, that person is gonna like me for the way I am. And I, I'm not gonna change for someone else. If I'm comfortable in my body, that's all what it matters. <sighs> and I think that's all for this video. I'm sorry that I because I think I'm doing the videos way too long and because I keep looking at the screen instead of the camera but I encourage you to change the way you look for if you want or I encourage you to do whatever you want with your body because I was afraid to diet for the first time. Because what will people say? But I started to care more about how I feel with my change of hair. What will they say? <laughs> and now that's really all for this video. I hope that this make you feel like you're not alone. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.